Welcome back to Surviving and Thriving, where we share with you the things that we have learned as we have transitioned our family from struggling to survive disease to thriving right smack dab in the midst of it. In the hope that something that we share with you will help you, enlighten you, and encourage you as you transition your family from struggling to survive disease to thriving right smack dab in the midst of it. Sometimes when you're going through health issues, um, you may find that you have problems with circulation. And circulation can be um, for a lot of reasons, especially if, you be in, if you're bedridden or if you're not getting a lot of exercise as you once uh, used to or as you possibly could. And so I want to talk to you a little bit about circulation. You can have bad circulation in different parts of your body, usually in your extremities, your hands, your fingers, your your ankles. Um, it is important to have good circulation in your body because your your blood needs to go through every part of your body, not only to keep that area alive, but to flush out the bad stuff and the toxins in that area. And so I want to share with you some of the things that I have learned um, throughout the years um, with battling and trying to make sure I have the best circulation um, in every season. Some of the things that I have learned. Now I want to tell you that I work with a chiropractor. And I found that that is very helpful because sometimes circulation is, is about things being blocked off. And so you want to make sure that your body is in correct alignment so you can have good flow for your blood, but not only for your blood so that your brain can send the right messages through your nervous system throughout your body. Because sometimes the blockage is not just the blood flow, but it is also your nervous system. Um, and when you're feeling tingly in your toes sometimes, that is because a nerve could be pinched or um, there's something going on with a nerve on there. And sometimes like if you're feeling it in your feet, it could be something in your back, your ankles, or your knees that is where the actual problem is, but you're feeling it manifest in your toes. Sometimes it could be your neck or your shoulders and you can be feeling it manifest in a different place in your fingers or something like that. So when you go through a chiropractor, they help align all of that. Now, something you need to be aware of when you go through a chiropractor, you need a good chiropractor. There's this new wave of chiropractors out there where they're flooding you through. They got the little arrows on the ground and they're trying to run you through real quick because they're trying to hurt everybody through like cattle. Those aren't your good ones. Usually what they have is these little clickers and they'll come in and give you like eight or nine clicks, click, 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 and then you walk out the door. Been there, done that. I'm trying to tell you those aren't the best ones in my opinion. My opinion is the old school chiropractors, the one where you go in there and they twist you all around and they're doing all this stuff to you and you feel stretched when you leave and you walk out and then it's like, whew, it's a big difference. You can immediately feel the pain relieve. You can immediately feel some things change. Whereas the ones with the clickers, you don't really know if it's doing anything because you don't really feel a difference or sense a difference and a lot of times in this you want relief and you want to know that what you're paying for is actually working for you I'd also tell you that um, the difference between the old the old school and the new school chiropractors in any chiropractor that you want to go to you want to be aware of this if they're charging you for body parts <laughs> stay away from that that's not a good chiropractor if they're saying okay you can either get your neck done your upper back your lower back or your legs which one you want to work on or if you want two parts of your body, you know, if you want the upper and the lower part of your back worked on, we're going to charge you for both of those. Don't go to those. That's not a good chiropractor. Those people are out for money and they're not really doing what's best for you. Old school chiropractors will let you know that everything in your body is connected, right? So if something's off in your, in, in your neck, you might be having it manifest on another part of your body. And you can try to deal with the, the place where the pain is, but the source of it could be somewhere else. So a real chiropractor that's a good chiropractor is not going to charge you per part and just give you clicks on your neck or clicks on your lower back or whatever part you said. They're actually going to work on all your body because they'll tell you everything is connected. So if, you know, they do your x-rays and they see that your lower back got a lot going on, they're not just going to adjust your lower back. They're going to adjust your ankles, your feet, your legs, your hips, your pelvis, your neck, your everything, because everything is connected. And if you move one bone in your lower back, right, it sets off a chain throughout your whole body. So they're about balance. A good chiropractor is about balance. They're going to um, stretch out your arms and, and work on your arms and your wrists and everything, because that one little bone in your hip or something like that 
is connected to the rest of your body so everything needs to be adjusted so that's a good chiropractor you want to look at so those are things that you need to know when you start dealing with um, some things about circulation one of the best things that you can do with you for yourself if you're having issues with circulation is exercise move your body there's also a lot of um, deep tissue massages that you can get that are out there that are really good you can get some that actually work on the feet because when you start dealing with your feet and you start dealing with acupuncture and different things like that there's certain spots that can do certain things it's a whole nother world a whole nother video right but there are some uh, massages that you can get out there now even when if you're getting deep tissue massage you can tell them the pressure that you want if you want it kind of deep tissue but light or medium or heavy those things are really good I really like them and watch out because you're probably gonna fall asleep but you feel really good when it's done and you actually can get those um, all over whatever city you're in and some of them are really priced really good so it's something that you can do um, and I would really look into it because not only does it help you with your circulation it help you with your digestion and just a whole lot of other things but I want to show you some oils that are good for you I'm not going to show you everything but I'm going to show you a couple of things okay now one thing I want to tell you for me personally if I need something that's dealing with inflammation I'm not going to use just one thing dealing with inflammation I'm going to deal and attack that inflammation in different ways not just with oils but with herbs and with things that I'm doing and I may use multiple herbs and multiple oils for that one thing so I'm not going to show you a multiple things for one thing but I'm going to give you a little bit that you can look at that's easily accessible for you and it's going to be really quick okay so if you're dealing with circulation issues some things that are really good your mints your peppermints um, even your spearmints but anything in the mint family peppermint is really good and it's easy to get and you can get it in the oil form now these are things that you can use in your diffuser but you can also use it with a carrier oil like your coconut oil um, your olive oil things like that if you want to rub it on topically I would not advise that you just put it on your skin um, without it I was putting some stuff in the diffuser last night and I got some peppermint um, or lemongrass one of the two I was using both of them and so they got a little bit on my finger and I didn't really realize it and I was talking to my husband I went like this and then all of a sudden I was like oh it's burning so you don't want to just put it on without it um, eucalyptus is another good one but you find a lot of this, like your Vicks has eucalyptus in it. So a lot of this stuff is natural, you guys, and it's used. And a lot of the medicines that you take and the things that you use and you don't realize it. But remember, you want to get 100% pure. Now, I'm not promoting a brand. I use different brands, okay? But I just want you to know that um, this is actually a good one, and I just want you to see it. So if you're dealing with eucalyptus, if you're dealing with um, peppermint, it's cooling but this will actually help you with your circulation so I'm gonna see if you can see that up there that light is good it's peppermint and it will help you um, deal with your circulation so what I would advise is that if you're having some circulatory issues that you would put a little oil mix a little olive oil coconut oil something like that with a drop or two of your peppermint and rub it on topically in whatever area you have so if you're dealing with your feet you might want to put some on there with your um, another good one that is very good this is a very good one for um, circulation is eucalyptus can you see that eucalyptus probably not the best lighting you could probably close that window over there but and it's a hundred percent pure oil but eucalyptus is really good for circulation so that's something you want to use now you can use it topically but you can use it in your diffuser as well so let's see what else I have over here that I can show you um, now here's another one that's really good and I'm going to show this to you, right? And it's called, some people say Walang Walang, some people say Yalang Yalang, but either way, that is a very good one. Now this is good for a lot of different things. It's good for women and their hormones, but this actually helps you to relax. It helps to bring down your blood pressure. So if you're having blood pressure issues, it's one that you want to look at and it also helps you your blood to flow a little bit better helps you to relax bring your blood pressure down get a lot of good circulation flow in your body as well but another thing that this is really good for you all is that if you're having like that tingling sensation in your fingers and your hands um, number one go to a chiropractor it might help alleviate a lot of that but the other part of that is you don't want nerve damage. Once again, like I talked to you about, if you have a pinched nerve, eventually that stuff can get damaged, especially people who's dealing with um, 
diabetes and things like that, they deal with a lot of that um, nerves in their feet dying and things like that and bad circulation. This repairs your nerves. It helps to heal the nerves and it's preventative for your nerves. So if you're finding that you're having issues with um, tingling sensations in certain areas and the chiropractor, you're going to your chiropractor and you're getting the line right to make sure anything's not going on there that needs to be fixed, but you can rub this on also with the carrier oil, your coconut oil, your um, Jehovah oil, your uh, olive oil, things like that, and you can put a drop of this. This one drop goes a long way and it smells so good. This is actually used a lot in different perfumes and things like that. So you can rub that on in that area and it will help you with um, healing those nerves, protecting those nerves. It also, because it's a relaxing thing, if you're dealing with a lot of cramping and stuff, it'll help to um, relax those muscles and stop those, those muscles from cramping. I know I gave you a little bit more than that, but that's actually a really good thing that you can use. The euc eucalyptus and the peppermint is as well because it help you with a lot of respiratory things and your breathing. It's a lot that all of those do, but those are things that you can use if you're having um, issues with your circulation, okay? Especially with circulation, anything that's warming is really good. So your cinnamon, things like that, to help to get that low flood in there. And you can use heat as well. If you have a heating pad or something like that, put it on. Like if your feet are cold and you're having problems with circulations, you might want to wrap your feet up with that. If you're a diabetic, I would be... Um, cautious with that because sometimes diabetics can't feel um, down there or you know if you have something else that you're dealing with that may have that so you might want to make sure you're wrapping it up it's, it's not burning your skin just kind of be cautious and aware with that so those are things that you can use if you find that you're having some issues with circulation it's not everything it's something and once again to let you know I always use multiple things and attack things in multiple ways but those are a couple of little things that you can um, start using in your life even now and they're all cost effective and easily you can find them quite easily so in all things remember do you until next week bye